What's up everybody? Going to be doing a video on the Aquamax Nano Protein Scammer. I did a lot of uh, searching on the YouTube, on the net, and I really didn't find too much of a detailed unboxing. So I got this protein skimmer for the heart of my filtration for an Innovative Marine Lagoon 25 gallon. This protein skimmer is rated up to 30 gallons for a light bio load, but if you have a heavy bio load, it's rated at 20 gallons. Now when you're searching for a protein skimmer in the nano section, there are a ton, a ton of different options, but I wanted something that wasn't going to break the bank. Um, I knew that the company was a good company because they have good quality cast acrylic. When you touch it, you're like, yeah, this is worth it. Um, how much is it? It's $120 on Marine Depot. Uh, compared to some of the other protein skimmers, uh, it's reasonable and pretty affordable. Um, like I said, I've had the reactors from Aquamax. They're heavy duty and they don't feel cheap at all. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the protein skimmer. Uh, the reason why you're on this video, maybe just because um, you're just interested in it, but more likely you probably searched up the video, searched up the protein skimmer and you want to know more about it. So I'm going to just read off the product description from Marine Depot and then you can kind of uh, get a general understanding of it. So Marine Depot, they say the heart of a skimmer is the pump. You know, they modify the pump. It's an Italian made pump. The size and what they did is they changed out the impeller with that is specifically rated for the this Aquamax protein skimmer. Um, it says performance is boosted much beyond the uh, beyond that of a standard size needle wheel pump. The upgrade upgraded Aquamax shark pump is capable of drawing significantly more air and chops them up to the optimal bubble size for maximum protein extraction. So we're gonna go ahead and see. We're gonna put this inside of the 25 gallon innovative marine tank and uh, get this baby going. Now I was a little bit worried because this uh, protein skimmer, when I was trying to put it in, it was a little bit tight. And I'm just gonna give you the uh, footprint of the skimmer so you can see for yourself it says it's 2.76 by 4.15 you are going to have to pay attention on how you put it in like i said it does come with a, a magnet uh, for the backside, but you're going to install it sideways because inside the innovative marine lagoon uh, there's no other way for it to fit it does fit pretty snug but once you get it in you're good to go you can kind of adjust the uh, height whether you want a wet skim or a dry skim uh, right now off the bat it's not going to make a difference because the skimmer does need some time to break in. I did want to point out that it does have a section where it actually overflows water. So with that section I thought it was a little bit weird but I, I kind of like it because of the fact that um, I have, didn't have any spillover like when you're breaking in skimmers a lot of time you can't adjust them because they just keep spilling. But a few hours later, the skimmer was already producing skim mate. Um, I didn't do a vinegar bath or anything like that. And it was already making some nice quality bubbles. So let's go ahead and be quiet here. I'm going to go ahead and shut up so you guys can kind of hear how quiet this skimmer is. Um, aside for the background noise. So here we go. Now with that being said, highly recommend this skimmer if you have a nano, if you want to get something nice, uh, this is a skimmer to go. You can see it's nice and frothy, looking really good and you know what, this stuff stinks. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, go ahead and throw it away and I am happy with my purchase. Hope this video has helped you out. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, follow along for more updates. Thanks guys, have a good one.